I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis spoke to the Florida American Legion Boys State on Tuesday. In those remarks, the Florida governor touted the arrival of new citizens to the Sunshine State, as well as the swelling of tourism that occurred at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic. DeSantis mocked the lockdown procedures of several blue states, even calling out the visits from, quote, lockdown governors who vacationed in Florida while imposing harsher restrictions at home. DeSantis said, quote, they all came to Florida. You'd find these lockdown governors down in South Florida. He added, quote, you'd find CNN TV hosts in different places in Florida. DeSantis is considered a possible 2024 presidential contender and has made his handling of the coronavirus pandemic central to his political identity. Let's listen in. And just what, what are the results of all this? You know, I can get to give you statistics about, you know, unemployment rate, budget surplus, all this stuff. And it's important, but you don't even need to do that. The last two years, Florida has led the country in net in-migration into our state. Uh, you look at the states that have had the most net out-migration, California, Illinois, New York, New Jersey. What do all those states have in common? They're basically doing the same policies. Uh, and it's not just draconian COVID policies. It's bad tax and spend policies where they're uh, just killing people with taxes. It's soft on crime policies where they were actually cut and slash funding for law enforcement. They will elect prosecutors in places like San Francisco and Los Angeles who say, we're not going to prosecute cases. You can go into a store and steal $999 in San Francisco, and they will not prosecute you if it's under 1000 Well, that just causes crime to go through the roof. It hurts the economic base. They've got homeless all over these cities, uh, and so the quality of life has gone down. They had school lockouts for a long, long time, and so people leave, and they fled these areas in record numbers. And so people vote with their feet. You know, during the, uh, the, the, the height of COVID, you'd have all these other governors, you'd have big city mayors, you'd have people who were on cable TV hosts, and they were saying, oh, Florida, you know, they're doing it so wrong. They're, they have kids in school, they have business open, they need to have more, more masking and lockdown, all this other stuff, and they'd criticize. But yet these same people, the first chance they got to leave their policies, where would they end up going? They all came to Florida. You'd find these governors, lockdown governors down in South Florida. You'd find mayors in these different places. You'd find CNN TV hosts in different places in Florida. And so to me, how people behave is the best evidence of, of what's going on. You, know, you can have your political narrative. You can try to do this or that. Uh, but even our worst critics, when it came time for them to make the decisions about how they wanted to spend their time, uh, Florida was the first place they wanted to come. They weren't staying away from Florida. And so that speaks for itself, and that's just the reality. One of the things, if you talk to people that, that moved to Florida in this more recent wave, and, and just understand, we've got a great state. I, I'm not begging anybody to come here. I mean, I think that we've got a lot of great people. My view is to take care of the folks who are here and make sure we've got a good quality of life. Uh, but it's a free country, and people can go where they want to go. And so um, people come. And if you talk to different realtors, uh, I think one of the things, yes, taxes, but, you know, we've always had lower taxes than a lot of these states. That's not anything new. Uh, yes, escaping some of the COVID insanity for sure. But safety was a huge and is continue to be a huge issue because of the policies that they've done in these other parts of the country where they've really turned their back on law enforcement. And when you slash funding for police, when you don't support their efforts, uh, that has a huge impact on how the streets are kept safe. And, and just understand, you know, a lot of the people who support those policies um, are more wealthy, cloistered people who don't suffer the consequences of defunding police because they've got their own security. So what do they care? In fact, San Francisco, they just recalled this prosecutor who was a total disaster, um, wouldn't prosecute. The city was going down the tubes. So, so they do a recall, and he was recalled in San Francisco, which is you know, not exactly uh, a conservative area, but he was recalled. The places that voted to keep him 
were all the more affluent, affluent highly ed, quote, highly educated parts. The places that voted to kick him out were the more blue collar working class places. And so why would that be? Well, because those are the people that are suffering the brunt of these policies. And so when you turn your back on law enforcement, when you don't support uh, safe communities, that has a disproportionate impact on people who are lower or middle income. Uh, it has a disproportionate impact on single moms. It has a disproportionate impact um, on more underprivileged communities. And so it's a terrible policy. Um, and we in Florida have done just the opposite. I mean, we said from the beginning, we're supporting the people that wear the uniform. Uh, we're going to make sure that our streets are safe. Uh, and we're going to make sure that uh, we back those who are doing that. So when they were removing funding from law enforcement in 2020 in places like Seattle and Minneapolis and all these places, uh, we did $1,000 bonuses for every sworn law enforcement and firefighter in the entire state of Florida. I mean, that's just what we're doing. And so, so we did that uh, la uh, last year. Then this year's budget that will take effect uh, July 1st, uh, we did it again. So you work for a local police department, you work for a sheriff's department, any of those people, fire, they're going to get another $1,000 bonus. Probably sometime this summer those checks will go out.